Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 14th of 2021, well, it is titled NGC 7293, the Helix Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a dying star, and in fact, a star much like our own sun. And what happens over thousands of years is that the core of the star will collapse once it no longer has an energy source. Our sun produces energy by fusing hydrogen into helium. But as with any energy source, eventually you run out of fuel. And when that happens, the inner part will collapse. And the central star at the very center of this image is a white dwarf star, the collapsed core of that star that has collapsed down to about the size of Earth, but has many, many times its mass, even up to the mass of an entire sun. And the outer layers then get expelled out into space. They get they grow larger and larger as the core collapses. And eventually instabilities will cause them to be pulsed outward into space. And as we look at this image, we might might see that it seems to have occurred over several different times, as there are multiple regions around this over which layers have been pushed out. So perhaps some layers are pushed out earlier, and then later on additional layers are pushed out for, from additional instabilities as the star has expanded. Now this is what will happen to our sun in about five or six billion years. Our sun has a lifespan of about 10 billion years and is about halfway through that life right now. So in about five billion years, it will use up its the hydrogen in its core and will begin the process of becoming a planetary nebula. It's an involved process. It doesn't just happen immediately, and it will take many hundreds of millions or a billion years as the sun will first heat up enough to fuse helium into carbon as a secondary energy source and prevent this from happening for a little longer. Eventually, when all energy sources have been used, the outer layers of the sun will be expelled out into space and a distant astronomer several bill many billions of years from now looking towards our solar system might see a site something like we see today. Now they're they're still study these in great detail because we see a lot of planetary nebulae and they are all very different. So there are a lot of uh, irregularities things that we have to try to understand as to how these occur. So there may be differences when for example a star is part of a binary system or a multiple star system. And there may be other changes depending on the exact type of star because we note that not no two planetary nebulae are the same. They all look very different. And here we see one in the Helix Nebula today. So that was our picture of the day for October 14th of 2021. It was titled NGC 7293, the Helix Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.